TJ the Black T with another review video. Um, this video wasn't really planned. This pickup wasn't really planned. Um, recently, I believe last week at some point, um, Nike restocked the Air Jordan 11 Columbia's or Legend Blues. Um, you know, for their little online raffles. So I never win. I was like, you know, whatever. Entered. And of course, I win, right? I win the one that I didn't really want. I just entered, just entered, just because I figured I wouldn't win. So, but, of course, I won. I didn't win the ones previously that I wanted, but I win the one I don't want. Sneak ahead luck, right? But, so, came in. What is now becoming that iconic tape job with the little stripes in it. Let me crack this boy open. Now receive. And here you go. Size 9 Air Jordan 11 Retro Legend Blues Columbia's whatever you've probably seen this sneaker reviewed millions of times all over the place but I figured this is my first time you know getting this is actually my first time getting a pair of 11 high retros or the three quarter lengths technically from directly from like a retailer I've paid resale on every pair of 11's I have I only have two but I have paid resale on both pairs so this is the first pair I'm receiving straight from a menu from a retail spot so got that little plastic on top pull that off Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly, you made them iconic, or you made them rich, yeah, same thing. Got your tissue paper with that carbon fiber print. And let's see these. I have not seen these in person. To be quite honest, I'm not a big fan of the shoe at all. Um, not a big fan of mainly white shoes. That's just me. I mean, there's a few exceptions I do make, but I don't know for this. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I am a fan of the older ones, not because you know of hype reasons, because you know they're OGs or whatever. I'm just a fan of it simply because. It's not all white at this point. They've aged. So on the older pairs of Columbia's, you know, the actual Columbia's, the patent leather, and even a little bit of the leather and whatnot, it's a little aged. So it's a little yellow, it's a little creamy color a little bit. You know, it's kind of that little beige-ish, little yellow. So it's not all white. That I like. I like when that, that patent leather Kind of has that yellowy to it. I don't know. It looks better in my opinion. That's just me. But either way, all white upper, white patent leather, legend blue, Jumpman. Got your 23 done in white. All white, legend blue, Jumpman, Jordan, Jordan insignia. All white. Got that foggy blue outsole. Blue and black carbon fiber. You got your Jumpman underneath that with the blue outlined in white. Black herringbone traction pads. Uh, these do come with black inserts. I'm most likely going to return these just because I wasn't planning on getting them. I mean, I won them in that little raffle thing, so 
so I was like, what the hell, you know, get them, try them on, who knows, maybe them being in hand and, you know, actually having them, seeing them on foot, will change my mind on them, so far it hasn't, but on foot, might, putting on feet, might change my mind, and of course, you got those, the plastic inserts, done in the blue, with the jump man, and you got your insole. See that? Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you got the blue Jumpman inside, all black. And then <clears throat> quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. Quality basketball products. I don't know about that one. Some retros do have a lot to be desired. This one, I was, you know, I went over them a little bit, and craftsmanship doesn't seem too bad on these ones. I don't see any glue, uh, very little glue. Stitching is pretty much on point. I do have a little smudge on the bottom heel, but overall, not such a bad job. Like I said previously, I probably will end up returning these. Um, but I'm going to hang on to these for a little bit. Depending upon how they look on feet, which I will be doing the on-foot look next, depending upon how these look, I might decide to change my mind and I might hold on to them. Um, and this will be kind of like my backup if I don't get the grapes. Um, you know, I'll probably hang on to these then if I don't get the if, um, grapes. Aquas. If I don't get the aqua eats, I probably will hang on to these. So if I strike out Black Friday, this will be my backup. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see about that. But you got your Columbia Air Jordan 11, Legend Blues, whatever. Coming up next is the on foot look. Follow me Facebook, Instagram. Twitter, Snups, Tumblr, I'm everywhere. On foot look next. Till next time, TJ the Black T is out. TJ the Black T back with the on foot look of the Legend Blue Air Jordan 11, Columbia's, and whichever you prefer to call them. After having these on foot, um, my opinion has changed on them a little bit. I do like them slightly more than I have previously, but as of this point right now, there are just too many more shoes that I like a lot more. So these are probably these are definitely going to be returned. Um, it's a nice shoe and all, but I mean I I think I'm probably on a scale of one to ten. I probably like these about. Uh, a six or a seven. Um, there are a lot of more shoes that I, that I value higher that are going to be coming out and I just much prefer to have those over these. Um, you know, that's all I got to say about that. Plenty of content still to come. Um, uh, part in the radiator. <laughs> you know, New York time. Winter's here. So the heat is on. Um, like I said, plenty of content still to come. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, hit the feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it would mean a lot. Um, until next time, TJ the Black Tea is out.